name is Erica Wood and I am from the Hopkins County Extension Office and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about this um, pretty large plant that's right in front of me. I'm actually outside on this uh, pretty windy day um, in the butterfly demonstration garden at our office and the plant I'm going to talk about is a native perennial known as Joe Pie Weed and joe pie weed it goes by its genus name eutrochium which is actually meaning wheel like representing the uh, world leaf arrangement on this plant but we'll kind of get into that in a minute so this plant is a member of the aster aster family otherwise known as the aster or sunflower family a lot of our native perennials belong to that family and you have probably seen Joe pie weed, maybe not in an, a landscape setting, um, but it's pretty common, especially along our parkways and roadways on the side um, of the highways, you might see it in bloom. And with these plants, they can get quite tall. So Joe pie weeds can actually get up to seven feet tall. So it's a pretty big plant. Uh, plant. It's uh, very erect and clump forming, and so you will want to allow plenty of space if you're going to use this as an ornamental in your garden bed. But with Joe Pie Weed, even though it kind of gets the bad rap of weed in its name, it actually can be quite lovely for the landscape, especially if you're trying to incorporate more native plants into your garden bed. And so with Joe Pie Weed, um, it has these kind of very uh, coarsely serrated uh, lance-shaped uh, leaves that are on the, these pretty tall stalks. And again, if you look closely, you'll see that the leaves are arranged in a, in a world position. And, you know, once it starts to um, produce the foliage by, um, as we get into midsummer, it'll start to produce its flower stalks. And so really these stalks get quite tall and it'll give way to these really lovely like terminal domed clusters of these pinkish purple flowers. And if you actually were to smell the flowers, they're quite fragrant. Uh, they actually kind of have the, the, the scent of vanilla. So very lovely. And so these um, flowers will persist mid going into late summer and eventually once they are finished um, the plant will form seed heads and those seed heads you know are very abundant and will you know stay on the plant into the winter months uh, as well so you could definitely like extract you know seeds of joe pie weed you know from this plant now this is a plant that per full, full sun it can tolerate some partial shade but you'll want to give it as much light as possible in order it to bloom its best <laughs> it can tolerate dry soils but also can be in moist soils just make sure it's um, well draining and not not too poorly drained soil otherwise it's a very easy plant to take care of really has very few disease and pest issues and things like that and so you know the most appealing thing about this plant are the flowers and another reason why you you know you will want this plant in your garden is these flowers are very attractive to pollinators it's a really great nectar source especially for our butterfly species and so uh, you may see a lot of um, visitors flock to your Joe Pie weed when they're in bloom. We've actually had some swallowtail butterflies on here um, earlier. So definitely a great pollinator plant if you're trying to incorporate that, more of those plants into your landscape. So that is in a nutshell, that is Joe Pie weed. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, just stay tuned next week as we talk about another plant. All right. Take care, everybody.